In the area of municipal finance, and I should take a little bit of water before I start on municipal <laughs> finance, don't you think? In the area of municipal finance, believe it or not, there is some good news. We have just set a residential tax rate with the City Council that is the best in the Merrimack Valley. Unfortunately, Methuen also received a mid-year state local aid cut of almost $700,000. This cut coming mid-year is particularly damaging. I have reviewed these numbers with my financial staff and have some important news to announce. Although cuts will need to be made, there will not be any layoffs of city personnel in fiscal year 2009, which runs through June 30th. I value the work of the 364 dedicated police officers, firefighters, DPW workers, and others who keep city government running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I want to do everything I can to keep them on the job and serving the public. Furthermore, of the departmental cuts that will be made, the Methuen Senior Center and the Nevins Library will be held harmless. Although I believe all departments deserve full funding, I think that these would be the two departments which would suffer the most, possibly having to close their doors several days a week, leaving seniors no place to go and school children no place to read, play, and study. The remainder of the cuts will be announced in the coming weeks. I would like to express my deep appreciation to the Firefighters Union, who have worked in a proactive way to help with our budget problems and save jobs. And I would like to recognize the, the Firefighters Union President, Tim Sheehy, uh, for being here tonight. He's not going to like everything he hears, but he's still good. <laughs> Although our city will be able to avert layoffs in fiscal year 2009 through the imposition of dramatic budget cuts, fiscal year 2010 is another story altogether. The governor has announced that Methuen's cut in local aid will be as high as $1.9 million. And we estimate that with that cut, our shortfall will be in the area of $2.5 million. Methuen's public schools will be level funded by the Chapter 70 formula, which will, without federal stimulus money, force painful cutbacks in our educational system. The story is the same in all cities in the Commonwealth, with layoffs seeming to be the only alternative. We will do our very best to avert layoffs in fiscal year 2010, but we will not be able to do so without, without the help and cooperation of our municipal unions. We will develop proposals that will examine all facets of the municipal compensation system and propose suspending some compensation outside of base salary for one year. We will develop those in cooperation with our workforce in the hope that they share our goal of maintaining employment. These proposals will be filed in conjunction with our fiscal year 2010 budget. It is, in my opinion, critical for all stakeholders in our system to realize that the current system of municipal finance is broken and must be reformed. I believe that it is a fundamental deception to pretend that double-digit increases in health care and pension obligations are sustainable, even absent the major recession we are in now. I respectfully ask the legislature to consider health care and pension reform and allowing mayors and city councils more direct control <coughs> over these items that are the real budget busters. The coming weeks and months hold much in the way of progress and possibility. I look forward to working with citizens and business people alike on the critical initiatives that I have outlined here today. <clears throat> Given the condition of the national and state economy, this year will hold many challenges as well. Painful cuts and tough decisions will need to be made. But as long as the state of our resolve remains solid, the state of our city will remain strong. I ask for your continued help and support this year. 
With it, I am confident that Methuen will continue to be the thriving community that we love, we believe in, and we have come to expect. Thank you all for being here tonight, and that will conclude my remarks.